you know, people always say that they want the truth, they want the truth. And then when you actually take the time to tell them, they get angry about it. Now, what's gone on in Houston is definitely a tragedy, but it is a tragedy that could have been prevented a long, long time ago. Police brutality is a big issue that stems all the way back to when Rodney King was beaten senseless. We look to the justice system for justice. We look to the police to protect us. We're not getting justice or protection. Instead, we are getting beat to death, murdered, shot, and killed. It is not right. Instead of giving these cops a slap on the wrist, they need to be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. That has not happened. It is not happening. And it has yet to happen. People are angry. Now, of course, more violence and more death is not the answer. And it's not helping or solving anything. But it should definitely be a wake-up call to our justice systems and the police officers. You have had the power all along to stop what just recently happened, and you've done nothing. Don't get angry at me for telling the truth. You have done nothing. If you would prosecute these officers that are using unnecessary, excessive force and abusing their authority, this would not have happened. That is the truth. If you would prosecute these officers, they would stop doing what they're doing. These officers that are shooting and killing our young black men, as well as other races, need to go to jail. They should be treated just like any other criminal on the street and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. That is not happening. The justice system has failed us and everybody else, and this is why this has happened. If the justice system would do their job and protect everybody the way they're supposed to, these kinds of horrendous things would not be happening. And that is the truth. Fix it. No one is saying that all cops are bad. We know that all cops aren't bad. A lot of cops are very good and they take their oath seriously. But unfortunately, there are bad cops that are very brutal. Stop the police brutality and prosecute these officers. Prosecuting these officers is the only way to stop what is happening. Stop protecting them and prosecute them and fix this. Stop letting them get away with murder. Stop slapping them on the wrist. Stop sweeping the problem under the rug like it doesn't exist. It's not okay. And you know, it's a sad day in America when you have all people of all races bounding together, protesting in the streets, crying and begging for you to fix a problem that is well in your control to fix because you have the power to fix it and you're not doing it. Why are you not doing it? What is the problem here? We are begging you to please do something about this. My God, what is it going to take for you to wake up? Hasn't there been enough bloodshed and violence? And in light of all this horrible tragedy and unnecessary violence, Supreme Court injustice, what exactly are you good for and what is your purpose? America is crumbling and in turmoil. What are we supposed to do when we can't look up to you? What are we supposed to do when there is no justice, no justice, no peace? There is no peace anywhere in the world right now. None.